our country's going to hell in a handbasket. We haven't got the country we had when I was raised. Not at all. Nobody will have the fun I had. Nobody will have the opportunity I had. It's just not the same. And that's not what I was. That's not what they died for. <laughs> I just, it's just, just not it. Darling, I'm so sorry. I agree. Well, I'll be all right. It just takes me time to get over it. I just, I, 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 why, why me? See, sitting here like this, see, all this going on. <laughs> that isn't what we fought for. Our country's gone. All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, over Chakwadash, which Yahweh, that's Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shai, that's from the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, it's his true name. And Chakwadash, that's the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who ruin teach one of the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing his word in all truth and in all sincerity. And uh, you just saw that video clip, all right, of this uh, World War II vet. And as you, uh, you know, heard, you know, he was, uh, you know, he, he was very, you know, hurt. All right, I'll, I'll say that he was very hurt, you know, of... Uh, he was hurt because of the fact that, you know, America's crumbling, okay? You know, see, this place that he fought for, that he loved so much, okay, which I'll say this, this this, this whole, uh, you know, American country, this whole, you know, system here, it was uh, built on, you know, rape, robbery, murder, okay, bloodshed, ill-gotten gang, basically, okay? But point being, though, is, see, he's an Edomite, you know, that fought for this place, and he's seeing this place circling down the drain, Okay, he's seeing it circling down the drain, and you know he he's you know he's crying you know uh, because of that because you know his uh his people, you know they're not um they're not doing so well. Okay, you gotta remember these Edomites are not doing well. All right, hey they're they're, they're um, losing businesses, homes, their families are getting you know broken up. You know they're on drugs, you know so on and so forth. Okay. I said they're not doing well. This is not, you know, the 1950s and 60s anymore. All right, it's not that time period. You know, it's it's not even the you know the 90s, man. You know, maybe early 2000s. Hey, this is 2022, man. Where a hey, being an Edomite isn't a good thing. Okay, it's not a good thing. All right, and the reason why this is happening to them is because the curses are now falling upon them. All right, and let's get that. Let's get Deuteronomy 30 and 7, and it reads here, and the Lord Yahweh thy power. Will put all these curses upon thy enemies. And this is um these are words that Moses was speaking to the Israelites, all right, which that consists of you so-called black Latinos and Native Americans. Okay. And our top enemy, by the way, is Esau Edom. Okay. He's a top that's our top enemy, which is what this world will call today a so-called self the so-called, you know, self-proclaimed white man. Okay? And it says. I'm going to read this again. It says, And the Lord, Yahweh, thy power, will put all these curses upon them, upon thy enemies, and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. And, hey, I'll say this. To find out those curses, go to Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, okay? From the 15th verse down, all the way to the 64th or 68th verse, it, it you know, we as Israelites, you know, um, we got these curses, all right? We dealt with these curses. And now they're coming upon our enemies, all right? You see? And there's more, I'll say this, really, there's curses throughout the entire Bible, all right? And there, you know, those, the, they, those curses that are, you know, spoken about in the scriptures, they're, they, they're befalling our enemies now, all right? And see, a guy like that, he's been around for a hundred years, all right? He's been around for, you know, a, 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 about a hundred years. So he's seen things. He's seen, you know, the um, the uh, the you know, the downfall of this place, or he's seen the decay of this place. Okay, you know, and he knows, hey, they're screwed. He knows it. All right. 
But see, this is what the scriptures say. Let's get one more scripture. And we're going to play some more videos. All right, but let's get um, let's get Habakkuk. And we're also going to get Nahum real quick. But let's get Habakkuk. I think it's the second chapter, 2 and 14, if I'm not mistaken. Um, where's the third chapter? Oh, it's got to be this one. Um... It's a lock. Give me one moment. Oh, it's 2 and 12. All right. This is um, Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 12. It says, Woe, which that word means destruction, to him that buildeth a town with blood and establish a city by iniquity. And that's how Esau, how he established his kingdom. All right. Like I said earlier, he established his place by ill-gotten gain, bloodshed. Okay. He has... um. You know, created all these unrighteous laws, you know, in decrees, okay? So destruction unto them. That's why you're seeing these things happen, okay? And it says here, let's get this one as well. Let's get Nahum the third chapter. Nahum 3 and 1. Let's get straight to the point. Nahum 3 and 1. Woe to the bloody city, okay? Destruction unto it, which America is that bloody city. All right. It is that bloody city. It is full of lies and robbery. Do they not push, you know, lies and vanity in the schools? Okay. Not in just the schools. I'll say this. You throw out this whole system, you know, online, you know, on the television, in the music, on the radio, you know, uh, at the schools. They're constantly pushing, you know, a false narrative. All right. And we know it's full of lies and robbery. This place was a, it was robbed from the, uh, the, uh, um, in particular the Northern Kingdom tribes. All right, you know Gad, Reuben, all right Issachar. You know, and I'm gonna keep reading. It says the prey departeth not, and that prey are you Israelites. You Israelites are still prisoners of war, man. Whether you want to believe it, accept it or not. You are still prisoners of war. Okay? You know, you're just in um, um, a debt slavery right now, okay? You know, you got to go to work, pay your bills, pay your taxes, all right, so on and so forth. You know, you got to follow the laws of the land. And those laws are, are you know, unrighteous. You know? And these are definitely not, you know, the laws of the Heavenly Father. This place sets up some some wicked um some wicked uh you know wicked decrees that don't benefit you. You know they they tax your uh your pay. Okay? No, I'll say this, they overtax your pay because we have taxes in our laws, but it's only 10%. See, these guys want to tax basically a third of your um of your wages. Then then depending on where you live at you know, you got sales tax. You know, you got entertainment tax. You got this tax, that tax. It's ridiculous. You know? You know, they use a thing called usury, which is interest rates. That's wicked. Okay, these are just a few things, man. There's more. It's a terrible place. This is a terrible place. Okay? I'll say this. This is why all these, you know, evils are occurring, you know, for these Edomites, man. Okay? Like that guy was saying, this is not the place, you know, uh, uh, this is not how it was like when I was basically growing up. This is not the place it used to be. All right, but let's get uh, uh, some more clips. Because look, this is what happened on July 4th. You had two mass shootings, man. Okay, you had two mass shootings. You had one in, um, in, in Philadelphia, which I'll play. And you had another one in Highland Park, all right, which Highland Park is a top-tier suburb. In the Chicagoland area. Top tier. Okay. And they had. Um, you know. They had these mass shootings. People died. Okay. <laughs> you know. People were supposed to have a good time. It was July 4th. Alright. Hey people were supposed to you know just. Be watching a parade. Shooting you know some fireworks off. Eating you know some hot dogs. Some burgers. You know having a beer. You know, 
getting some ice cream. You know, that's what people were supposed to be doing, right? Yeah, but people are running for their damn lives and lives now, man. Like I said, these are all curses falling upon these uh, uh these Edomites, okay? And this system. But let's get it. Our country's going to hell. <laughs> Our country's going to hell. It is. <laughs> all right. Well, let's get a couple of these uh video clips, all right? And that gunman was on a, uh, I believe he was on a rooftop shooting um, a rifle, if I'm not mistaken. My, you know, he had basically like a sniper, man. He was just blasting uh, some people, man. Okay? Just blasting, you know, these people. And I was, um, and I'll say this. In that particular, um, that, 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 that suburb that I was telling you about, there was a lot of, uh, that's a high, um, that's an area with a high concentration of, you know, these uh, so-called Jewish people, man. And a couple of them died. Alright? And they're the top tribe of uh, Esau. Amalek, okay? You know? They, 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 that's what happened. And I, Oh, by the way, the shooter was an Edomite. <laughs> you know? And that goes back to the, hey, that scripture where it says, hey, those curses shall fall upon your enemies. I'll say this, um... In, in the scriptures in the Deuteronomy the twenty eighth chapter where it talks about the curses, one of the curses was your um enemy or your, your brother shall have an evil eye, okay, towards his brother. Okay? He's gonna have an evil eye towards his brother. Okay? And that's what's happening. <laughs> you know? Let's, let's watch some more of these clips. Alright, they're quick. Six killed and 24 hurt. Everyone was just having a good time. And then, you know, with a snap of a finger, hey, it, the, these people's lives have just changed. You know? It's good. Hey, man. Look at this. Just through. People are trying to enjoy fireworks, you know, have a good time, and now, now they're running for their damn lives. <laughs> See, America's cursed, man. And that's because this land is defiled with, with a, you know, with blood. This was established. You know, rape, robbery, murder. So this is why these things are coming, man, to this place. And I'll say this, hey, this current world believes, right, they'll, they'll talk about karma. They'll say, that, you know, that all day, you know, you're going to have, you know, bad karma because you, you know, did X, Y, Z, right? They always talk about that. And that's what's happening to America, man. Right, hey, these Edomites' kingdom. Hey, they're, they're, they're reaping what they've sown. Okay? That's what's happening. Alright? Let's get one last scripture. Let's get Ezekiel the 35th chapter. Alright? We 
Oh man, you know we're we're going to go through thirty. This is equal to thirty five. Okay. We'll go through this. Might even read the whole thing. But this is uh, Ezekiel 35 and 1. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. And Mount Seir, okay, that represents Esau, Edom. You can read Genesis, the 36th chapter. Okay. Talks about that how Esau is Edom and how he dwells in Mount Seir. All right. It's like how when... um. Like how Jerusalem is a representation of uh of the Israelites, okay, or Zion, is another you know uh, a code name for us, right? There's you know there's code names for you know uh, uh, nations, okay. Mount Seir represents Esau, the so-called white man, so we're supposed to prophesy against it, and that's what we're doing right now as the prophets. We're telling hey, these people, look, your kingdom's gonna fall because of the, the atrocities that you've done. Because of the unrighteousness that you've done, because of the bloodshed that you've you know shed, okay, and these are this is why these things are happening in your society, okay. Let's keep reading, and say unto it, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee. See, the Lord is against these people. All right, this is the heavenly Father doing all these things. He's you know setting you know he, he he's working on the minds of these people, okay. He's having situations like this happen, these shootings. He's having, um, you know, World War getting, you know, World War Three getting built up. You know, for their what? Destruction. All right? And I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord Yahweh. You see? The Lord, he's going to take these places down. Okay? Because thou has had a... Pro and this is why this is happening. Okay? Because thou has had a perpetual hatred, an everlasting hatred, okay, and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity. Okay? This is why this is coming to you. Because you shed our blood, okay, the Israelites' blood, and you had a perpetual hatred, you know, for us. You still do to this day. It's evident. You have a, 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 a you, you got a, a, a young man in Ohio. That was running from his life because he was afraid that he was going to die, which he ended up dying. He got shot, what, 60 plus times, okay? 60 plus times by, 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 by these cops. And, you know, it's just a, you know, simple traffic stop, whatever, it, you know, happened exactly. I, I'd have to, you know, you know, look it up. But point being, though, he's just running for his life. He gets shot, you know, all these times, right? They could have apprehended him easily. He dies, right? Clearly, that, that, that's hatred. Because, look, that Edomite that just shot up all those people in Highland Park, that didn't happen to him. Hey, he got pulled over. Okay? He got detained, you know, with ease. Nothing happened to him. He didn't get hurt. He wasn't physically messed up. And he was just carted off to jail. You know? He was carted off. See, they, they, they have a hatred for you, Jakes. They have a hatred for you. So the Lord's going to deal with them. Okay? In the time their uh, iniquity had an end, verse 6, Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord Yahweh, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. See, if thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. See, blood is pursuing these, uh, these Edomites. Okay? Since they love to, you know, shed blood, they love, you know, killing people and and, and robbing people and, you know, and doing all these wicked acts. Okay? Hey, you know, because I'll say this too. Because the scriptures say, it doesn't necessarily have you, you killing somebody, you know, with your sword. It talks about how if you, you know, basically defraud a man of his wages, you're considered a bloodshedder. I and mean, that's what you guys do to us all the time. Hey, hey, you jip us on our wages. Hey, sometimes you have incidences where... Jake's will work and they don't even get paid. Hey, the, 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 the owner knows that he's illegal. All right. You know, that particular Israelite, you know, a, a illegal man in this country. And he, then he won't pay them for his work that he did. Act like nothing's happened. What, what, what could that illegal guy do? He can't take him to court. He's illegal. You know, little stuff like that, man. You Edomites are, you know, real dirty, man. Okay. So the Lord's going to get you guys, man.
Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate and cut off from him that passeth out and him that returneth. And I will fill his mounds with his slain men. In thy hills and in thy valleys and all thy rivers shall thou fall, or shall they fall that are slain with the sword. I will make thee I will make thee perpetual desolations, and thy city shall not return. And you shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh. Okay? The Lord is going to do this to you very soon. Right now you're still in power, but the Lord is taking you Edomites down. It's, it's very evident, too, that your, your kingdom's collapsing. Verse 10. Because thou hast said, these two nations and these two countries shall be mine, and we will possess it, whereas the Lord was there. And those two nations and countries, that represents the northern and southern kingdom of the nation of Israel. The tribes, okay? The tribes. So this is why the Lord's doing this. You got us in your possession and you're, you're mistreating us. So the Lord's going to deal with you. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord, how I will even do according to thy anger and according to thy envy, which thou hast used out of thy hatred against them, and I will make myself known among them when I have judged thee. See, the Lord, he's doing these things to you because you do it to us. He's flipping the script, man. Because for the longest, you guys were getting away with all these things. Now all these things are coming upon you, all right, in different forms, all right, different judgments, all right? You see? All right? It's only going to get worse. This is just the beginning of it. These are just the beginning of sorrows for these Edomites. And it's only going to get worse. Okay? They don't have, a, you, know, a happy, you know, a happy ending. See, we do as Israelites. We have a happy ending. They don't. The bad guy doesn't. And, you're, and these Edomites are the bad guys of the story. Okay? They're going to have, a, 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 as the scriptures say, horrible is the end of an unrighteous generation. Horrible is your end. Okay? See, well, that's pretty much it. You know, I'm going to end this lesson off. You know, hopefully this was an edifying one. And with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto you. How about Shimei Shai? Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers. Shalom.